want to look like one of those guys at the Reservoir Dogs. I was too young to have seen that film. I'm too young to go in a casino. Special occasion, it's completely different. Look, the effect I'm looking for is a whole ocean of flowers. You'll make do with a small pond, eh? Not talking to you. No, <laughs> sorry, not you. Why couldn't we get clip-on ties? Because clip-on ties is for wimps. Oh. <laughs> May I? Yes, please. You never worn a DJ before? I've hardly ever worn a tie before. Over. Under. You're watching. You're learning. I don't think it's a skill I'm going to be needing any time soon. Hey, James Bond look goes down very well with the ladies. <laughs> Come on, lads, all aboard! Oh, 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 oh. One more and you can be Ocean's Eleven. Oh, right, yeah, what do you think, eh? I'm George Clooney, this is Brad Pitt. <laughs> We're only for the beer goggles, Bob. <laughs> Come on! Place your bets, please. Ah, glaring lights, the rattle of the roulette wheel, the sequins, it's all coming back. Oh, Does anyone actually know what they're doing? I collected gambling debts once. <laughs> now, you see, this is where we need Vonda, my ex. She knew her way around the gaming table. You're too young to be in here soon. <laughs> Hello, boys. Eric's got a work thing, so I thought I might stand in. Well, this is a stag do. Yeah, and I'm an ex-crookie. I think you'll find a night help. Gorgeous. Yeah, and she's well out of your league, mate. I bet she prefers him to a loser like you. Yeah. Go on, lad, have a go. All right. Will somebody just get us some beer? I don't drink. Don't tell her that, you div. <laughs> well, look, I'll have his. Four pints, four chasers, when you're ready, sweetheart. Coming up. Thanks. <laughs> no chance. Yeah! I'm married. Not to my mum, to someone else. But I thought I'd come up here. I haven't seen him for years. Oh, that's really sweet. Hey, the lad should get a free drink on the house. We all should. Oh, yeah, he's really sweet. Or you could try talking to a grown-up. Shut up, Windsor. Maybe me and you could get together after you've finished. Have a drink. Hello, hello. What's going on here? Dad. It's a little bit old for you. Dad, back off. Hey, you've been slipping in drinks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. You've just ruined my evening. Well, you are with the three dodgiest blokes I know. Sorry, Zach. No, no, no. Fair comment. With the whiskey chaser in front of you. You invited me along with him, and I'm not even drinking the whiskey. Why don't you just get out my face? Hey! This man has just abandoned the lucky streak of a lifetime to come and see how you're getting on. Yeah, so far I've worn my shoes and my bra and I'm this far away from me niggas. <laughs> oh, before you start preaching to me, how about you try and keep your hands off her? Just hang on a minute. Get lost. What kind of dad am I, eh? Double whiskey, quick. Make it two. Uh, three. I'll tell you what kind of dad I am, I'm a complete failure. Imagine me having another kid. Oh, a lot of money here. The question is, what do I do with this? Put it all on red again. Look, red's good tonight. Excuse me, expert. Do the same as me. Spread it around. Spread the risk. Yeah, that sounds like good advice to me. Right, yes, it does, yes. I'll put the lot on 27. <laughs> you what? Josie's birthday. Oh, don't do that! Come on. I can't watch! Come on. <laughs> well, anybody got a drink? Sorry, you're right, I was out of order. I could have had a chance with that girl. Oh, the night is young. I'm sorry I shouted at you before. But you shout at me all you want. Every birthday, every Christmas, I think about you. Every time there's a school player or a football match. I didn't know you played football. Our team won the league last year. All the other kids and their dads there on the touchline going mental. Oh, Josh. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I should feel bad. I, I, I do feel bad. I'm rubbish, I am. I have made some terrible mistakes. We're all allowed to make mistakes. I, I took you to your nursery for your first time when you were two years old. And you were... you were crying and wailing. I had to pretty much prise your hands off my ankles to get you out the door. That really boosted my ego. Well, the thing is... 
It really upset me. Of course, you were, you were fine ten minutes later, but from then on, your mum always had to take you to nursery. I couldn't cope with it. But when the time came, I still left you, didn't I? Could cope with that all right. It's the kind of dad I am. All I know is I'm glad I've met you. And I don't want to spend all my time shouting and trying to resent you. You seem like a pretty good bloke. That means a lot. I, I can't believe I haven't been a proper father two years. Let's not get all gooey, eh? No, 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 let's not, no, no. In fact, I'm gonna get going. Dad? Take this tongue to that low over there. Give it to Terry, tell him to get the drinks. Where are you going? Take these to Val, okay? Tell her to buy her knickers. What knickers? What's going on? It's time that 